Sunday, October 4th, 2020. Good day, everybody, and welcome back to Coffee Talk. But first, today's news, free of charge. Police raid on private Coachella after party is biggest drug and sex-related bust of the year. That's an ass. Fight broke out during Coachella culprits in police custody. Despite the arrest, Coachella will go on. Oh boy! Welcome! Hey, Pop! Good evening, everyone. Everyone's safe and sound tonight? So far, so good, officer. With the cop who's supposed to be watching this area hanging out in a coffee shop. I'm not sure about that. Pat. Hey, I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know? That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. And that's an oxymoron. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, Flint, I really need an espresso to keep me awake today. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because it's the... An energetic expressor to keep our officer up on patrol. God, that has such a weird context now with what's going on. Huh. <laughs> you and your sense of humor. Your espressos are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. Not a competition, officer. Hmm. <laughs> Is for her. She thought if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. Anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinning at? I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened. In two days in a row. And if the gods were trying to give me first-hand experience to use in my story. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh, yeah. How's it going? Quantity rise? Shaping up pretty well. Quality wise? Honestly? Pretty confident. Best to look then. You have any updates about the last two days of chaos? Uh, for the werewolf case, I spoke to Gull about it. What? Are you gonna arrest him? Some officers at the precinct were talking about it, but in the end, we agreed not to do it. Because he really helped a lot that night. We asked a lot of folks at the hospital, and some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have a lot more problems. Yeah, he helped a lot getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in that time. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So, those who'd rather detain him, can't do anything anyway. Whew. I'd be pretty mad if you did arrest him. Hey, being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems it happened out near Coachella. That's a long way away. I mean, not actually that far, but he wouldn't be able to walk it. Not in that state. So far, that's all I know. Rachel! Rachel. Mr. Hendry, all right? Before that, could I have a cup of hot chocolate? Yes, you can. Is there no just hot chocolate? I guess the dark chocolate. There you go. Your hot chocolate's ready. Thank you. Dad's gonna be fine. He woke up this afternoon, thanks to Mr. Gala. He got here fast enough to stop getting things worse. He's doing okay then? 
I'll take a few days before he fully recovers. But no permanent injuries we need to worry about. Well, that's good to hear. I know. But still, it's all because of me. Because I didn't listen to him. All he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Don't take any offense. But it, is it okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment. And I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't know right now. Besides, I really need to get away for a bit. So I told Dad I'm visiting the coffee talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. It's Rachel. What really happened last night? Dad got into a fight with some thugs. Heard them talking about me. Some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh. He didn't like that, of course, so he morphed into his cat form. Start a fight with them. Why'd he morph? Uh, so people wouldn't see what his human form looked like, and link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene, they found some eyewitnesses to testify, and they managed to find the thugs. Are they fans of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. What? Oh boy. The reason why it did take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because that party went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect? They're Mr. Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about guys in locker room talk, right? <sighs> yep. That's what they were doing. Is that I was the topic of discussion. Ugh. So there's that. Sorry to hear that. You were right about his party. Glad I wasn't there. I owe Dad for... Hey, it's okay. Most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. Should have listened to him. He might have been out of touch, but he's still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. Sh Mom was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say when dad... When he's recovered. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. All I know is I have to be there for him when... That's it? That's all you have to do? It might be weird to hear about it for something, hear about something coming from Miss Freya, but she is right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel, and where you need a breath of fresh air. You came here to relax for a while, guys. Thank you. I've had enough fresh air for one day. I'll go back to the hospital. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Flint. Man, what a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I gotta continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. But overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Georgie. Okay then, see you around. You gonna leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. I've had enough rest, and I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I could get it done today. <sighs> Alright, I won't bother you then. Oh, you never a bother. Besides, this whole book project? never existed without this place. And you. So, thank you. Pleasure was mine. Now, I'm sure you shouldn't spend any more time on Chit Chat. You've got a book to finish. <laughs> no problem, boss. And today's part was brought to you by the Spiced Lady, a British chocolate drink extremely popular in the 90s. And with that... Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Remember to have yourself a good, good day. Bye-bye.